I've never seen anything like that. What the actual... What is it? When I look in the sky at night nowadays, I've got the knowledge that I didn't have before. I don't know what that was. That there's something out there and it's real. When this whole thing started, I tried to tell people about it. No one believed me. But now I do have evidence. Someone is going to be hard for me. <clears throat> they encountered something over the sky. Most sightings of UFOs can be explained. Oh my gosh. Only a small percentage can't be. It was giant, quiet, and it was amazing. Within less than a second, the cross is right in front of me. Poof, and it's gone. And then, bam, the New York Times story, it changed everything. This is it. This is when the government is going to reveal the truth. Oh my God. It was a bombshell, right? That's what it was. Whether you accept it or not, some people actually saw this stuff. People are actually going to believe us now. Imagine if it was acknowledged officially that UFOs exist. <laughs> Our own divisions would suddenly feel so much smaller. It was dark money. Even members of Congress don't know it's there. This is too big to turn away from. There's something in our skies, and we don't know what it is, but there's something coming. The world needs to get ready for what's about to happen. At that time when this happens, you're already going to have World War III in full bloom. So you're going to have fighter jets of the Russians, fighter jets of the Chinese, fighter jets of the Japanese, fighter jets of the Ishmaelites, fighter jets of the Pakistanis, and fighter jets of the East Indians, and fighter jets of the Hamites, and fighter jets of the United States, fighter jets of the land of Israel. All these different fighter jets up in the heavens fighting against each other. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna stop in the middle of what they're doing. When they see Yahweh and the angels, they're gonna be like, oh shit. And what's going to happen is the battle that they're having with each other is going to stop and they're going to turn around and focus their energy on fighting against the Lord and the angels. And they're going to lose mission. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So Jehoshua, when he comes back, he's pained to come and take this place out. Why do you think the scriptures say that the earth shall rock to and fro like a drunkard? What type of devastation is it going to take that's going to make the whole world rock back and forth? Scripture said, so great an earthquake as never was seen before. So you have to imagine the amount of anxiety and frustration that one has. And when you're able to let it loose without any interference. Man, you better get out that person's way. You know, and Esau's going to try to head right to the Lord and the Lord's going Fuck shit up. Oh, behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire, and by his sword, will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many.